So I just got a call from a producer in Columbus, Ohio, shooting a reality show. They want to give a DSLR to their host and kind of let him shoot some behind the scenes kind of footage that they'll use in the video. Um, they want to use the on-camera audio because they really want to make sure it sounds gritty also, but they don't want the wind noise. So they said, Andrew, what can we do? Uh, we found some products online, but they won't ship here in time. Is there anything we can do? I said, yes. First thing you've got to do. Oh, that happens. A little inline amplifier. Uh, the first thing I said to do, go get some fabric. Uh, at the fabric store, you want this fur, this kind of stuff right here. As you can see, you don't want to... I just trimmed this stuff. Blah. But what you want is the fabric to be kind of backed by... Is My camera will focus. Camera focus. It won't focus, but there, there it goes. Um, you want it to be backed by this kind of cotton material. This kind of almost reminds me of what uh, a sock is made out of. So it's very breathable, but it's not going to like seal the like seal your your airflow. And you want airflow a little bit because airflow is what makes sound work. So we've actually already cut out a nice little piece like this. It's about one inch by one inch. I've rounded the corners just for ergonomics, and what we're going to do, I'm going to trim some of that, that's a little too long. You just want to trim it up a little bit, and you get your English Butyl out. So, we've got English Butyl right here, uh, without naming the name brand, there we go. Uh, you can go find this, the art department will have this, and just pull off yourself a little bit. What you're going to want to do... Just peel it off, make a little, little snake out of it like you would with Play-Doh. And we're going to work our way around the microphone. Just like that. Okay. Come on. Work your way around the microphone. And the reason why we're using English Butyl is because its low adhesiveness won't leave residue on the nice expensive electronics. As I'm pressing that down, hold for a couple of seconds, you can peel your fingers back up and you'll end up with this nice kind of donut shape. Apply your fabric, cotton side to the back, and work it around. There we go. And just like that, as I push this in, let's kind of seal up that hole in the bottom. There we go. We seal that up. Push this all in. And there we go. A little camera muff to make sure the audio on camera is not too bad. There's also settings in your camera you can turn on for wind protection. Uh, if I had a battery in this camera, do I? Do I even have a battery? No. Okay. But there's little settings inside some of these DSLRs that have wind protection. Um, and that's just a little low cut filter you can add. Uh, post can add it too. But there you go. Just a little wind muff right there on your camera. And that's going to sound a lot better than the, uh, the wind noise that you were going to end up capturing for that nitty gritty kind of reality feel. So here we go. And to the producer out there in Columbus, Ohio, I hope this helps you. And I hope this is everything you kind of were hoping to accomplish with your reality TV show.